Right, this is GreenyXI welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI episode 41. So what we're going to do in this episode is start off with a mini boss actually, which <laughs> is going to be fun. It's optional, completely optional, but it gets something pretty good out of it, so we're going to go for it. Here it is, monster in a box. That might not seem like a mini boss, but it is in this case. What you want to do is, hold on, get to Celeste, Celeste who's learned Banish, so we want to use Banish, where is it, there it is, it'll spread to both enemies, it uses up quite a bit of MP, but it's a pretty good move. <laughs> it just got rid of the shell, that's good, we got a floating head, that's amazing. If it got rid of both of them, then what it would have done is giving you two of the items that we'll be getting from him at the end of this battle now. Just keep on attacking now, the head is not a difficult enemy at all. It's not the hard part of the boss. I couldn't tell you what his elemental weaknesses and stuff are because... I've always done it this way. <laughs> there we go, he's done. He's a lot tougher if you actually fight him properly. I'd got learnt Banish. Oh, funnily enough! <laughs> so I haven't learnt him. I've done Dragon, dragon Claws. Good for Sabin, of course it is. So let's equip Sabin up with the new Dragon Claws. He's not going to be doing fire damage anymore, but it does do holy damage, which is also good in this area. Look how much attack power that gives him as well. 214. Bloody hell. So let's heal up once again, because we've got a boss coming up now. Don't ask why I use Kuba instead of Kuba then, which I shouldn't have really. Use a tent if you really need to, I mean, we don't need to. The boss coming up is interesting. I like the art design and the... You could really grind a lot in 3P in this place, can you? Okay, she's nearly learned to Suna. Amazing. We'll be needing that. <laughs> Float is shite, so I think we'll switch him over to that now to get some more MP. That might be good. As for you, Fenra... Carry on. Oh, what I do? what I do? Wait, 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 wait. Put Fenra back on. Didn't need to take it off. And Madwin is... Ooh, one more battle and he'll have learnt the three basic spells, which I guess could be good for what's coming up. Manita, I'm pretty sure that's just like a knife or something. Keep an eye out, there it is. Dex is especially effective against humans. Right. Never mind that, we'll give that to somebody else later on. Unless we find a better weapon again. Which we could well do. Here lies Darrell. Oh dear. We've, we found the owner of Daryl's tomb. <laughs> Boss time! This guy isn't too bad, really. He's Delahan. I wonder if any of you have actually seen the anime or manga called Durarara. That's what this reminds me of every time. Should we go for a drill? We'll go for... I think Cura will work pretty good against him, but I want to use it on us for now. Because our health is getting very low. And Celeste is going to be using Runic quite a lot. This boss is pretty evil in terms, in terms of magic. Prismatic Flash! It's not brilliant, but it's good enough. It's good enough for me. Yeah, Drill is probably the best move. Virgin Fist, come on. I'm waiting for a spell to be used before I use Celeste again. Holy yay! That's what I was hoping for. Can you use it again? No, that's it. Ah, oh, he's getting a shitty result from that. Decidium Rabbit, here it comes. If you don't match up anything, you just get this. Tiny amount of healing. Crap. Virgin <laughs> Fist, at least Sabin's blitzes are working this time. They don't very often to me, as you probably noticed, so. Dave Bomb, this is a pretty good one actually. I like the animation of it as well. It looks more like a summon, you know? <laughs> That's really good. Okay. Oh, another one of them. Bloody hell, we're getting some good results from these slots, this boss. I'll wait for him to have his move and then I'll heal up. Because otherwise it's just going to be taken by the runic anyway. No. We need to 
heal up quite badly now. Ah, oh, chocolates are coming. Get ready, folks. <laughs> Look what they can do. <laughs> he probably hasn't got much health left now. Missed. <laughs> amazing. That was amazing. Cura. Oh, but oh, I didn't heal him by much anyway. I thought they would have hurt him anyway because uh, he's undead, isn't he? Look at him. You can tell he's undead. Anyway. Prismatic flash once again. Can't complain. Northern Cross. Oh dear god. Thank god for ruining it. <laughs> That's a really good move. A really good move that would have hurt us quite a bit. Okay, airship attack again. This is get it looks like this is gonna be a heavy um heavily boss episode. I mean no sense. <laughs> a lot of bosses. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of bosses. In this episode. Oh come on. Can't have much health left. Ooh, wow, it's a big big damager. A big damager. That's right. Yay! <laughs> See, not too bad, that boss. He just seemed to have a lot of health in me. Yeah, good. 5 AP, Thundara, Blizzara, Fyra, good. So let's learn the sooner. Also good. Okay, what's I gonna do now? Right, good. Better heal up. Oh, and we're going to switch around a few things now. Dispel and Shell. Do... No, I'm going to switch it around to something else. More HP? That'd be good. Go for that. No, oh, you can switch now from Maduin, because you've learnt the three spells. Two, Unicorn for Cure and Asuna. Why not? By the end of the game, we'll want to have every character have learnt some pretty good spells, not just the main party, so it's good to learn them as we go along now anyway, even if we aren't going to use the characters that much throughout the game. Being here brings back all kinds of memories. Ah. Uh, as a story, a little story bit. A bit of backstory for Setzer. Let's go up a bit so we can see the cutscene more. This next test fight could be dangerous. What are you trying to prove by pushing your ship to its limits? It's pointless. So this is Darrell, anyway. The one that obviously isn't set, sir. <laughs> okay, let's go. Watch your step. If the worst should happen, take care of the Falcon for me. I'm sure Darrell is a man's name, but... <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. Until then, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Good luck with that. This is uh, Setzer's lover. Or used to be. And also, this isn't actually happening because it's in the old world, it's just a bit of history. I don't understand why they did all this flying, I think they're trying to show off the modern technology at the time. <laughs> It was quite funny now. <laughs> ah, there's really nothing like flying. How long you plan on hanging back there? Aren't you going to try to pass me? Or are you too entranced by my lovely behind? <laughs> Slag. <laughs> it is a nice part though. Not her behind. <laughs> this section of the game. <laughs> Although her behind is rather sprightly. I, I do like it. <laughs> I fly past the clouds and see the stars closer than anyone ever has before. I can't quite see the text. It's quite hard to read on this background. Be much better with that blue there. Hmm. Uh, 
That's a nice orange. That's a nice bit of artwork. Who said video games can't be arty? It was a year later when I found the wreck of the Falcon in a distant valley. Ah, Daryl died in her airship. Bugger. I restored the ship and then put it to rest down here. So this is the Falcon Daryl always used to use. So this is the Falcon? Yes it is, I just told you that. I can't very well be the world's fastest pilot if I can't even fly. I need your help. Falcon! Go Falcon! I love the music of this airship. It's just stunning. I like the airship music in pretty much every Final Fantasy game that I can think of right now. But this is one of the best. I think we just might have a chance. Now we'll be able to get up to the top of Kefka's Tower. If we land up there, we should be able to get inside to launch ourselves. Okay, now is the time that we can go for Kefka's Tower if we really wanted to. Now we have a party of four. We're not going to. I'm going to be showing you a whole lot more of the game before that happens. <laughs> but you can if you want. Oh, booty. Could it be? Something to do with lock, maybe? This is a sign of where we can go next. To get locked, if we wanted to. We're not going to be following the pigeon quite yet. No, don't do it. Not sure, but something inside tells me it'll lead us to our friends. Can you imagine going for the last dungeon without saving Terra or Locke? The main characters? Some of the main characters, you know? It wouldn't feel right, I don't think. No, don't do it, I don't want to go to that town yet. Yeah. Nah. It's quite a slow reacting airship. Okay, so I think I could end the episode here. I think we should. So, yeah. This has been Green XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we get a couple of optional things out of the way and we get a new character at the same time. See you in a bit.